This is another big opportunity, opportunity that came out of the tax reform bill. Um, opportunity zone is a term, tax term for economic development areas where the government is trying to incentivize you to invest in these development areas. And by doing so, what, you know, and Bill may talk about this as well, one of the uh, vehicles before when you sell a rental property you want to defer the gain on the taxes, right, is do a 1031 exchange, right? Well, this is another, another strategy that's available to you where you can sell a uh, rental property, you can actually sell stocks. You have gains from the sale of these, this portfolio that if you reinvest your gains into one of these qualified opportunity zone areas and investments, you can defer the taxes on the gain on your taxes from the stock portfolio or your rental property. The cool thing, the big difference in my eyes with the 1031 versus the opportunity zone, 1031 you have to reinvest all of your proceeds, so not just your gain. With the opportunity zone, you could sell something for 500000 but your gain was only 100. You only have to, have to reinvest $100,000 into the opportunity zone to defer your taxes. So these, you know, again, this is absolutely brand new within the last 12 months. They are coming out with new things about it. There's, uh, I think there's some stuff in the materials that have a lot about, you know, what areas qualify. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of information there. Yeah, I mean, one of the main things to understand is in terms of the opportunity zone, it must be reinvested into a qualified fund. Um, and fund is defined as an entity where at least 90% of the properties are owned in the opportunity zone. So it is important to have a legal entity, an LLC, a partnership, an S corporation. It cannot be invested in your personal name, okay? So if you own rentals in Memphis in an LLC and you're doing this, you want to make sure you open a new entity for your opportunity zone properties so you get the eligible tax deferral. Very important, if you find out a property you're looking at is in the ozone, ozone is the short, cool name that we call it. Um, if you're finding out that your property is in the ozone, contact your CPA right away before you purchase the property, okay? And it's similar to a 1031 exchange too with it where you have to uh, buy the investment within 180 days after selling your, your old investment. Same thing with the opportunity zone. You have 180 days to reinvest your gain uh, to, you know, basically utilize the uh, opportunity. So yeah. Um, and just one real quick thing to mention: um, if you're someone who's buying the property yourself, that's fine. You can also invest in funds. There are a lot of funds or syndications set up where you're one of a hundred investors that invest in, you know, a large apartment or development deal in the ozone as well. Okay. So different ways to look into tax deferral. Uh, the question is, do you need an accommodator to do this? No. Uh, so far, IRS has not said that you need an accommodator to do this. As, cra as crazy as this sounds, uh, you know, you have to, as Amanda said, you have to invest in one of these qualified funds. Now, how do you become a qualified fund? Believe it or not, it's a self-certification process. So you just say, hey, I'm self-certified. You know? Yeah. <laughs>